Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about recently this, uh, this you know, this so called teacher of the Bible, this guy named Bishop Whitehead. I think it's Whitehead. Um, you know, he was having service, you know, teaching that same old Christianity doctrine. And the dude got robbed live uh, while streaming. OK, you know, dudes came in and, and robbed him of a bunch of jewelry and things of that nature, man. You know, saying dudes came in and, and, and robbed him of uh, all his jewelry and money and things of that nature. And then they spin off in a, in a white bins, you know. You know, dudes came in there and, you know, you see dude right there, came in there and took they, they money, they jewelry, you know, and uh, spin off, you know. And this ain't nothing but, you know, the way I see it, like, right, you got a wicked pastor, right, teaching false doctrine, which is extremely flagrant and wicked and, and just terrible. And then you got dudes stealing from each other, which more than likely these guys are Israelites, so they're stealing from one another, robbing each other, and uh, doing all kind of mischief and wickedness, so it's like wickedness going hand in hand, it's like wicked versus the wicked, you got you got one uh, person over here that's uh, teaching the word falsely, and then you got, you know, just a bunch of wicked dudes with, uh, I think they had guns. Yeah, gunpoint, yeah. They had guns and they came in there and they robbed the place. So now you got thieves and and other and and, and, and also the pastor, you consider him a thief thief too, cause he's um he's got a lot of money. Dude got a lot of money and these dudes that robbed him knew it. So they ran in there. Why? Because they got a lot of money off of uh, the congregation and teaching that uh pork chop bacon um doctrine. Um, that uh, so many people love, which is false. And uh, it's like evil versus evil, you know? But uh, it's all wicked at the end of the day, and Jake is just wicked as hell, you know? Dude's running through there and, and <laughs> at gunpoint robbing the, the congregation. I mean, that's just the way Jake is, man. Jake is just wicked as hell, man. Jake is just all wicked. All right? Um, I, I wasn't even going to start with this scripture, but why as well it's right here. It's Proverbs 10 and 2. It says, the treasures of the wicked of wickedness profit nothing, but the righteous delivereth from death. All right. So the riches that you do get here, man, uh, you know, it's all all in wickedness. You know, it's not in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So like them dudes in that video, them dudes was robbing the place. You know what I'm saying? They, they they robbed them for their treasure. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't profit anything. It doesn't deliver from death. You know, because the wages of sin is death. So you got, what does the scripture say? Thou shalt not steal. So they steal it for each other, from each other and uh, commend sin, man. All right? So they made they they made uh, uh, um, a covenant with death. All right? Because Jake running in, gunpoint, stealing from them people. You know, even though they wicked themselves, doesn't doesn't mean it, two wrongs don't make it right, you know. Don't render evil for evil, man. All right. So, at the end of the day, they was wicked for that. All right. Verse three, he says, and Yahweh will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casts away the substance of the wicked. So he's gonna cast you away, doing all that wickedness to each other. The Lord's gonna cast you away, man. All right, for doing that. All right. You know what I'm saying? For, 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 for being evil towards one another. All right? All right? The Lord is going to cast you away because you don't... Hey, that's not how we operate as uh, men of the Lord or even women of the Lord. You know, you don't operate like that. But at the end of the day, that's what niggas do. All right? So niggas going to get out. 
You know what I'm saying? They're going to, as they say, get it how they live. You know, robbing and stealing from each other. All right, this is uh, Matthews 24. And I believe that's 12. Yeah, Matthew 24 and 12. And, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And the love of many is going to wax cold, man. You know, as you can see in that video, dude don't care about nothing. If, if that gun would have went off, so be it, man. As long as they got what they came for, which is the money, you know. And everybody cooperated, so they got away with uh, with the treasure, man, with their money. All right, but but Jake be wicked towards one another, man. So the love of money is gonna a love of the love of many is gonna wax cold. All right, people are not gonna love each other like they they are right now. They're not gonna be respecting each other like they are right now, and they barely do that now. All right, so it's gonna get even worse, man. All right, the the violence is starting to rise even more and more throughout the earth, man. All right, and and, and the and the uh, the mental uh, vibration is so base now. Like, it's crazy how fucking stupid people are these days. <laughs> like, it's just, like, they're, they're like, mentally, they're on a, a, a low frequency, man. Like, it's like, damn. Like, it's, it's definitely those drugs, man. Those pre prescriptive drugs and just street drugs and all kind of shit, man. And all this stuff has just got people operating on a very low frequency, man. For real. Like, it's really bad. It's really bad out here, man. And it's gonna get worse. All right. Uh, Proverbs ten and tw what the fuck is that? Two. Proverbs ten and two. Salakia. Oh, I just read that one. Proverbs twenty six and ten. All right, the Proverbs 26 and 10, it says, The great God that formed all things both rewardeth the fool and rewardeth the transgressor. So he rewards you by, by hiring you. So he'll hire the fool and hire the transgressor because the Lord sets it up like that, man. The, the scriptures say the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. When you look up rewardeth, it means to, uh, to hire, to hire oneself. All right. So the Lord will set up the fool and the transgressor. So you got the transgressor right there, the pastor, the bishop, and then you got the fool that was there robbing them. So the Lord sets it all up, man. He rewards them both, man. He'll hire them both, all right, to do what they're supposed to do. All right. And that's what they did, man. They did they they did that. They put that on display for us to use as a um as, as an example of what not to be and what and what to do all right you don't want to be like that just wicked as hell out here stealing and and, and killing and all kind of stuff whatever jake do for their money you know that's all wicked right there so dude is the head of the church got robbed at gunpoint all right and and the lord ain't dealing with this dude right here in in his doctrine all right and those robbers, what you expect? That's what Jake gonna do. They're gonna steal from each other, murder each other, all right? And they're gonna do the worst to each other. Why? Because they're evil. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai.